It is do or die for the Colorado Avalanche as we go up against the St. Louis Blues. We're down... 3-1 in this series. I don't know how this happened, but it did. Also, if my voice is a little bit different, I'm just getting over a cold, so that would be why. I'm always told that I don't sound different, though, but I hear it, so just throw that out there anyway. Let's have a look at our lines. We don't have any X-Factors on offense. We do have abilities, but I think overall it's just a solid roster. We finished second in the league this year. Turbo, Turcot, and Keller. Second line solid. Third line is incredible. And our fourth line is amazing, so... Yeah, I don't know. Defensively, we've got Slater, Zachary, loaded with abilities. He's on the third pair with Sandheim, Fabro, and Ferraro. So again, just solid all around. And in net, we got yours truly, Timothy Jimothy, with the X-Factor of Sponge and the two abilities. I don't know how we got down 3-1 to the Blues, but here we are. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Ew, I also have an 877 save percentage. What was going on? I haven't recorded in a while, so... Hopefully I'm better now. Let's hit it with that times 8 simulation speed and hope for the best. We give them a power... Great. Good job, guys. Power play for Colorado. What's going on? Is St. Louis just the best team ever? Can we do something? Anything? I don't ask for much. One goal before the second period starts. Oh my days, okay. This just became an extremely tall task. They're doubling us in shots. What is happening? <laughs> Finally, we get something from Landy. Power play, 3-2. Another power play. Can't score on that one, unfortunately. Five minutes left. Avalanche, let's do it. One more goal. Oh my goodness, we're down by one. Actually, someone also pointed out that I signed like a five or six year deal or something with the original contract. I always thought that they didn't offer anything more than like a one or two year. I was wrong. And someone, yeah, went back, fact-checked it, left a comment, and I was surprised. But anyway, uh, I imagine that will be coming to an end here soon. Also, uh, someone commented, but I had already said it in a video. I just hadn't uploaded it yet, but I will be doing... A career sim for the rest of TJ's National Hockey League endeavor. Nice pass. Is that a, that is a power play? Beautiful. We need that right now. Let's capitalize. Ethan Bear sitting for two. Hopefully, it is a 3-3 game in the very near future. Losing the faceoff. I take it back. I'm so sorry. I was going to say, it's not a good way to start. But wow, what a thunderous hit. I'll take the momentum. This is our opportunity. If we don't score now, we don't deserve this. Which we don't really anyway. We're getting outplayed every single game. <laughs> that one win we had, I don't even remember it honestly. But I just feel like it is all in St. Louis's favor. They have our number. We, we need a miracle, to say the least. Off the post! The puck meets Irene. Back in the middle. Nice. Great shot block by the St. Louis defender. Vrana has it. Goes for a pass in the middle. That will be picked off. And now St. Louis is back the other way with their penalty killed. Not good news. Nice try again. I forget who their goalie is. Either way. Playing great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another big hit. Love the physicality. And now we're taking a penalty. It's not looking good whatsoever for your Colorado Avalanche and TJ's final playoff run. Copper. He had one job. Don't take a penalty. Actually, that's not true. I also need a goal. So, he had two jobs. We need a massive kill. Slater sends the puck down the ice. And that will give us just over 10 minutes left. So we have half of a period to tie this thing up, assuming they don't score. Well, I guess even if they do score, it's still basically true. DeBrusque has it, goes back to the point. Making some passes here. That could have been tipped, but Slater was in the way. Thank you for that. 25 seconds left for the St. Louis power play. And then we will be back to even strength. And boy, do we need it. Cross-ice pass to Jakey. Kicked it aside. And now Fabro goes behind the net. 
Headman's it to Turcott and the Avalanche are headed back the other way. 9.30 remaining in this third period and potentially in the Avalanche season. St. Louis really doing their best Florida impression right now. Trying to pull off the upset and to be honest, it looks like they're going to do it. I don't want to say that. I don't want to admit it. But truth hurts sometimes. Why was there not a scrap? Or a scarp, if you will. Should I fight their goalie? I think I should. This could potentially be our last goalie be a pro video. How can I not fight? Four on four, if I fight, does that make it three on three? I actually have no idea, but we're about to find out. Two, two just had a wide open net. The classic goalie glitch. I do not remember that being their goalie. So I don't know if the other goalie got hurt or what's up with that. Definitely didn't get pulled. Okay, all right, I see you. A little dodge action there. Your health bar is definitely lower than mine. I mistimed that dodge horrendously. There we go. Try again. Boom. Why? I just feel like it's impossible to get the tuck on people now. And good night. No! Oh! Now good night. Thank you. Massive fight, W. That's my last ditch effort. If this isn't enough, I don't know what is. It stays a four on four on four. Speaking of fours, what were you doing right there? You had a clear chance to step in. We got saved by the post. Wallstrom goes for a shot. Doesn't get it through because we've really clogged up the middle area. Puck goes in deep. Four minutes left. That will be gloved. Throw it into the corner. Keep the play alive. Landis Cog doesn't really do a whole lot with it. But you know what? We ended up getting the puck out and back down in the St. Louis zone. Here we go, guys. Come on. Hartman to Teravainen. Yes! No! What a save again! Landis Cog had a prime opportunity. We have just under two minutes to go here, guys. If we let in a goal, it is done. There's no chance that we're coming back. But because it is a one-goal lead right now, we still stand... A minor chance. Fabro has it. Walks in, goes for the pass. Okay, we still got possession. Kachuk gets it to Turcotte. Back to Ferraro we go. Steps by and makes an awful pass. What a horrible decision. 30 seconds left. Give me that. Try Very thankful that did not end up in a goal. Kind of thought it was going to for a second. Kachuk goes over. Fabro loses it. Hartman also loses it. 4-1. Can't battle through Anderson. Go help him, guys! We're about to be deleted. We're done. Our season's done. We just... We're backing off! What is this? What a joke. All right. I would like a league investigation into Colorado throwing this series. Because that was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And it's not close. Wow, what a bad way to end our goalie be a pro. But, you know, it is what it is. That basically sums up how everything went in this career. And just like that, the Colorado Avalanche have been removed from the playoff picture by the St. Louis Blues. Let's simulate up, find out who does end up winning. And on top of that... Check out some individual trophies. It'd be great if I could get James to shut it, but I can't. Also, I know this is a sad moment, but I'm proud of how you played. What a joke. I played terrible. I had a sub 900 save percentage. And you're going to say I looked great out there? That is some low standards. Congratulations to the New York Islanders. I Watch, we're going to go and St. Louis probably got bounced in round two. And it was probably a sweep. Awards! You didn't say anything about any awards. All right, well, at least we got the Vesna. That's solid. One positive in this otherwise very sad time. 58 wins on the year, you know, and we get wrecked in round one. Almost a President's Trophy, but Ottawa barely beat us out. 51 for Roe. The Islanders swept in the finals. Okay, to be fair, the Blues also dusted the Wild in round two, and then they got swept by the Kings, who then got swept by the Isles. How good are the Isles? Look at this. They swept, went to five, went to six, swept. I must look at their roster. Where are you? The Islanders. They have Matthews. Okay. 
Kasperi Kapanen. Okay. Matthew Barzell. So maybe he was playing with Matthews on the first line. It depends on what they did. Bunting. They also had Beauvillier. Valerie Nichushkin. I am very confused. I was going to say slightly, but no, that wouldn't do it justice. Who's their goalie? Thatcher Demko. 88 overall. 910 save percentage. Backed up by Loktyanov, who had an 879. Atta boy. Vrana, Shifley, and Nuge were all point a game. But it just simply was not enough. Newhook was a dash four. So was Turbo. So was Riley. So was Turcott. Yikes. Austin put up 20 points in 19 playoff games. So I don't really know what happened here. If I'm going to be honest with you. But it did happen. Bunting at 86 overall. Barzell, 89. Bobby Brink is an 81. And he's still tucking it. Demko was lights out. 16, 2, and 1. Didn't have a single shutout, but at a 929 save percentage. Oh my goodness. Well, here's all the awards. I think we already know all the team awards. So let's check out the individual ones. ADB gets the Art Ross and the Heart. Fox gets the Norris. ADB also gets the Lady Bang. Our Pan gets the Calder. That's got to be Peter's cousin, Roger. I am going to butcher this, but Quokinen. <laughs> Got the con Smythe. Atta boy. Timothy Jimothy with the Vesna. Ottinger or Oetinger <laughs> with the Jennings. We have Langlois. Can we just give me one here? That's Langlois. Borgo gets the Selkie. Wow, after at least four straight years of Barkov, a new winner has been crowned. ADB gets a Lindsay. And then Cooch with the Rocket Richard. I don't know what to say, guys. I tried, I really did, and it just wasn't enough. I also played like poop. I got to admit, was not my best showing. 35 perks you can afford, I kind of forgot about this. I can get 10,000 social media followers. Two X Factor points, a trait point. Yeah, sure, why not, just for the X Factor points. But also, I am going to be simulating from here on out. So does it really matter? New. All right, here we go. Art advisor lasts forever. Boom. Purchased. Big donation children's charity. This perk lasts you forever. It sure does. This medical assistance also lasts forever. So sure, why not? I don't know why we wouldn't at this point. I'm just looking for all the ones that are permanent and I will be buying them if I can. Community manager. Boom. Done. 180 days, 180 days. New thank you. May repurchase. Does it look like I want to repurchase? Does it look like I want to talk to my agent? Have more meetings? Permanent perk that lasts you forever. Boom. Yup. Love to see it. Not repurchasing. Ooh. Oh, we already have that. We already have the big gym as well. I guess I'll buy a watch? Ah, uh, nah. But I will buy a small beach house. Consider that contract signed. I don't want to repurchase. Yeah, right. I suppose I'll buy an 80s car because it is also permanent. There we go. We have all the cars now. Actually, I wonder, did we have another ability that I couldn't put on? We have pretzel. How do I unlock this? To unlock the slot, you will need to acquire X Factor points. Yeah? I have 11 out of 6. Wow, that's crazy. Am I just not able to unlock it right now? Or... I also have 11 out of 10. Points required to unlock this slot, so does someone want to tell me what is going on? What should I do with these points? We're already basically 99, so I'll, there you go. Positioned. Level that up a little bit. Let's get some dialogue here that I'm not even going to use. Boom. Love it. Oh, wow. Our durability? Kind of bad. So I will purchase that. And I will maybe purchase this one over here because... It will be very close to leveling up our durability. All right, well, let's sim to the next big event, which I'm assuming should be next season. The... Are you kidding? They just won the Stanley Cup and they got the first pick. That is illegal. You know, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but that at least looks like it breaks a couple rules. What do you think of playing a game of pickup outside the team store? No, I'm just trying to simulate up to next season so we could look at the roster because why not find out what Colorado is made of for this upcoming season. I am simply simming up to the regular season.
because who cares about the pre? Oh, it'd be really cool. Wait, hold on. Trade alert for Colorado and the GM's talking to me. Did he wait a whole... We're headed back to Ottawa. <laughs> what? I'm not crazy, right? We did play for Ottawa and this be a pro? I could be mixing them together, but I think that we also played for Ottawa on this one. Anyway, it took this clown, that guy right there, a whole year to find me a trade. Legitimately an entire year. Ottawa hasn't even played a preseason game yet. Once again, though, I'm simming up to the regular. And we... I don't need your welcomes. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Ottawa Senators. Yeah, thanks. But also... I won't actually be playing for you. Hate to be that guy, but facts are facts. That's kind of a weird word to say when you actually pronounce it, facts. Like I almost just want to say facts, like F-A-X, like, like an ax with an F in front of it. One new slot unlocked. Now we're cooking. I still don't understand why, oh, it uses them. That's lame. Anyway, I have the poke check one, all or nothing. And I have pretzel. Sure, just for old time's sake, you know? I had to do it. And before we conclude here, let's just view the lines to see what Ottawa is made up of. Those jerseys are sick, I gotta say. Goudreau. They have McDavid. McDusty, how'd I forget about that? ADB, Mantha, Jimmy Superstar, and Costin. Dvorsky with Batherson and O'Reilly. Ability central on this team. Defensively, boom. No abilities, but they have Quinn Hughes and Jamie Drysdale. Then they have Jacob playing with Travi. And then Robertson and Thompson in net. Obviously, we are starting Matthias Ledeen. 72 overall. That's the sensible thing to do. They actually are, by the way. We are not in the season opener. That's 72 overall goalie. Anyway, once again, that just sums up how this whole thing went. You know what, though? It was an extremely fun adventure, a good journey. There was some ups, some downs, and the goalie be a pro, but you guys were there through it all, and I'm glad you enjoyed. I can't wait to do another goalie be a pro in the next NHL, which won't be for a while. And yeah, I'm probably gonna... I don't know. We'll see what I do. I will likely start a player be a pro, but I'm not going to get your hopes up and say definitely. But I would really like to save goalie be a pro for the next NHL. However, as I did mention, there will be one more video where I simulate the rest of TJ's career. I have no idea when that will be. I'll try to get it out within like a week or two, but you know, there's a lot to do for a whole be a pro simulation so no promises there either and i definitely will not be starting the player be a pro before we conclude the goalie be a pro with the full sim so yeah that's where i stand right now and just once again a final thank you guys for watching this series we got pretty far we made it all the way to the stanley cup finals even game seven i think of the stanley cup finals couldn't close it out so close yet so far but maybe when we sim the rest of TJ's career, he will finally get that Stanley Cup. Or not. So take it easy, guys. I'll see you soon.